Hello guys and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I will show you an alternative of everyone's favorite comfort food. Gyros Burger. Juicy pork tenderloin slices perfectly combined with homemade cucumber pickle and creamy yogurt sauce. Indulge in and you will love me. Today we will make a nice burger with gyros. So we'll combine the burger situation with the gyros combination and it will be a massive bomb. Easy cheesy. I will make it um, as healthier as I can because I don't want to have a lot of calories this kind of burger. So the first thing I have to use is my meat. Normally gyros is um, made with pancetta and pork neck, fatty parts of pork. But in this case, I will use the leaner pork meat, which is it, tenderloin, okay? I want to use tenderloin to make sure that everybody will try this recipe. I will take a nice pan, I will put on heat, and I will start preheating my pan because this part is the most important part for this recipe. Now, I have my tenderloin here and I will cut it into thin slices. Very, very thin slices to be exactly like gyros. With one pork tenderloin, we can have up to four burgers. That's good news because actually it's a cheap recipe. And the next thing is what, my friend Michalis? The next thing is marinade, okay? For this marinade, you need the magic ingredient that called vinegar. Vinegar is the most important ingredient of the recipe. But stay here and I will see you later. Now, I need one onion. This is a big one, so probably I will use the half of it. If your onion is small, you will use it whole. If it's big, then you will use the half of it. Yeah, and I want thin slices of onion. Onion is an ingredient that will marinate my meat. How? Easily it will tenderize my meat by touching it. That's it. Onion has this lovely ability to tenderize pork meat. So, onion is in. I have some garlic. Actually, I have two cloves of garlic. And I will thinly slice them. Now, the next ingredient is Mr. Vinegar. And don't be stingy. We need about four to five tablespoons of uh, vinegar. And before we adding the oil, we make sure that the vinegar being absorbed by the meat. The vinegar will cook the meat, will tenderize the meat, and actually this is the key ingredient for the recipe. Now, the seasoning is uh, now, my friend Michalis. Salt, pepper, extra virgin, Greek olive oil. And we want some oregano dried oregano, a little bit of rosemary, and if you want caramelization, because we want some caramelization, we have to add just a hint of honey, just a little bit, because we want to balance the acidity of vinegar and because we want more caramelization while we're cooking the meat. Now, this is it, mixy mix, everything together, make sure the honey goes everywhere, the olive oil goes everywhere. And now it's time for marination. For how long, my friend Michalis? Wow. Uh, actually, you can leave it the whole night if you want, okay? We want to marinate the meat for approximately two to eight hours, okay? Not more than eight hours, not less than two hours, because the vinegar, the onion, the garlic, all the stuff here will work on the meat, make sure that the clean film will touch the meat. And uh, after two hours, probably the meat will become somehow soft like a butter, okay? Now, this goes into the fridge. I will bring my cheddar cheese. And after two to eight hours, this is how it will look like your tenderloin. Look at this. The color changed. As you can see, it is more white because the vinegar actually cooked the meat. And now we want to cook this stuff. So how we're doing that? We take off the meat from the bowl. All these juices over here, we don't use them. And 
You have to make sure that you will take all the excess water from the meat, okay? As you can see, there is a lot of water. And here is my meat. I will add some olive oil to the pan. And my pan is extremely hot and I will add my meat inside. Woohoo! This is it, guys. This is exactly how we can make homemade gyros at home with tenderloin. This is the way how you will do it. And look at this caramelization. It's absolutely stunning. The pan should be extremely hot and I need another pan here because I want to give a nice color to my buns. Oh my God. This is gonna be lovely. And of course we are making a gyros burger. So we will not use any butter. We'll use some extra virgin Greek olive oil. And as you can see, I'm not tossing all the time the gyros because if I start messing around, then probably the gyros will take out more water and actually the meat will boil. We want to caramelize the meat. So as you can see, I'm just making simple moves over here. Look at this beauty. We are almost done. So I turn the gyros from the other side. And now it's time to melt some cheese on it. Yeah, probably Greek gyros is not connected with cheddar cheese, but we are making a burger. Burger is always connected with cheddar cheese. So cheddar cheese goes on top. Maybe I will add one more slice, huh? And the buns go into the pan and I will give a nice color. These are potato buns, but you can use any bun you like. And I will turn off the heat because my gyros my gyros is ready, and look at this. Cheddar cheese gyros. Who can resist in this beauty? Now, I will take out the heat, and I need a kitchen towel over here. Look at this. Gyros covered with cheddar cheese. Oh my God, what can you say about that? Now, my buns are almost ready, a little bit more. And it's time to serve these lovely burgers. Here are my buns. And we are making a, a gyros burger. So instead of mayonnaise, I will use some yogurt. And instead of barbecue sauce, I will use some tahini. Huh? What do you think, like this? Uh -huh. uh, that's, that's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. So tahini, goes here. My God, look at this, huh? Gyros goes on top. And with this stuff, you don't have any yields because as you can see, the meat is so tender and so lean. Yes, we have cheddar cheese, I know that, but we don't care about the other stuff like um, barbecue sauce, mayonnaise and stuff like that because we have Greek yogurt. And of course, have the onion, but we need also some tomato. One, two. And some pickled cucumber. This is homemade pickled cucumber. If you want to make your own, you can find the recipe at my YouTube channel or my website, axpetrezix.com, the number one Greek cooking website. And uh, you have to share this lovely recipe with your friends. You have to make comments under the video and you have to follow in social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Viber. Bon appetit and voila. See you next time. Bye bye. Yassas.